Hello there, welcome back. In this video I'm just going to very quickly show you an attachment that you can put onto the return pipe of your canister filter to give you this effect without an air pump. And I think I'll just move this little battery power station because the fan's on. And that's irritating me, so it's probably irritating you. Let's get this out of the way. By the way, if anybody's interested in this little power station, I'll put the link to it in the video description. It's 500 watts or half a kilowatt capacity. Really good. Hey, that's better. It's quieter altogether now. Other than the bubbles popping up here. What we've got here is basically a venturi. So as the water is going back down your return pipe, it's drawing air in and mixing it at high pressure in here with the water and then spitting it out so you get a really high dissolved oxygen rate in the water. In fact, I'll just take the notes out that Gideon sent me. And that's Gideon from Grow Greeny. I'll put links to his videos in the video description because quite honestly, they are about a million times better than mine. I'm known for making terribly produced videos. But Gideon's videos, although he's only just started on YouTube, they're so much better. I could learn a lot from him. <laughs> and actually, I have learned a lot from him as far as Venturi's go. Because he has sent me a f well, quite a few of these for testing on my pond, in the hydroponics unit, and here in front of you guys. He does a hell of a lot of different types. There's a couple of different versions of this. There's this one, which goes on the return pipe from a canister filter, and it spits downwards into your fish tank and there's also a shorter type which just fits straight onto the pump and is used for aerating the sump which is particularly important for the likes of uh, deep water cultures for your hydroponics and so on I know a lot of you guys in California like your deep water cultures and I shall say no more okay so aerator for aquarium sump or return from a canister filter some observations. I've never been able to get my dissolved oxygen above 6.8 mg per litre at 26 degrees centigrade. God, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. You'll have to forgive me, you guys in the US. Never been able to get it above that level using an air stone and air pumps in my aquariums. With the Grow Genie aerator, and then in brackets, Multi Venturi, which is what that is, I'm reaching upwards of 7.5 to 7.9 mg per litre. At 26 degrees Celsius. So that's a jump from 6.8 to somewhere between 7.5 and 7.9 which might not sound like a massive jump in dissolved oxygen but if you know anything about how hard it is to get oxygen dissolved in water using traditional means that's an absolutely massive increase and that's gonna make a hell of a difference especially if you're keeping fish with a high oxygen demand. I mean you can see how much it's spitting out and it does it differently to an air pump as well as I'll explain in a second air stones only dissolve oxygen at the surface of your water because the bubble popping creates the pressures needed to do so but a venturi also dissolves oxygen inside the device because the pressures and friction are so much greater inside the venturi than compared to air coming out of a stone uh, I'll explain that by showing you hopefully what's inside of one of these things and you'll see that there is constrictions in there to create that pressure which forces the air into the water. That's my observation and beliefs on why dissolved oxygen levels are much higher with a Venturi. That makes perfect sense and that's one time when I would trust the science. All that pressure and bubble collisions inside the device are dissolving oxygen also. Again that makes perfect sense. Venturis are known for being loud and noisy. The multi-venturi is the only venturi that fixes that issue. Well, it's by far the quietest venturi that I have ever tried on any pump, anywhere, that I've had venturis. Especially the DIY jobs that I've made for my pond because they make an awful slurp and sound like <laughs> sucking the air in, you know? And the effect was nowhere near as the venturis that Gideon does. I'll bring the camera in and show you this from behind and I'll show you what would normally be attached to the top of it. It's basically, well, I'll show you. 
Now because of all the bubbles that might be a little bit overexposed, but this would be the bit that hangs into your tank here. And then you would have one of two fittings to attach your pipe coming from your canister filter to here on the other side, which would take it back to the canister. It's basically just a replacement for the standard Shepherd's Crook sort of attachment. And the kit also comes with an extender, which I can't actually fit on here because my tank is not big enough, but you can see that in Gideon's video. And it also comes with a little cleaner as well, just so you can get into the Venturi and clean it. Not that you ever would need to do that with this particular one, but it's nice to have that option in case you wanted to. You know, if this is after your canister filter, it's going to be having clean water going through it. But that said, you know, slime, whatever, might build up inside of here. You can clean it. And it comes with the full instructions as well. <laughs> I've just had a look at the, the battery there, because when I pulled the cable, uh, the plug came out. And I looked at the time remaining, how long it would run this pump for, and apparently it's got 89% of the charge left, and it would still run this for 99.25 hours. So a battery backup in the case of some electrical emergency where your grid goes off, and an outlet like that means that you just need to run one pump instead of a pump and an air pump. And some people might be put off by my saying, you know, just buy this, stick it on the end and it does away with an air pump but with electric costs being what they are now and what they're going to be in the very near future every step you can take towards reducing your power consumption for your aquarium is so important and adding one of those will just basically mean you never need to buy an air pump and it dissolves oxygen way better than an air pump does so it's a win-win situation so I mentioned it before, I may as well show you. This is the one that goes on a sump pump. And of course you could extend this straight from the pump all the way up to your tank through solid pipe or flexible pipe and just have it spitting into your tank like that. You know, spitting in through the side of your tank, firing down or whatever. It just means that you can do away with an air pump. And an air pump by its nature is pretty damn noisy. I mean that, well, listen, can you hear it? I can't hear a thing from that one. Uh, I think we'll bring the camera in and I'll get close in, just make sure that the mic is on. Yes, it's on, good, you can hear me. Hopefully you can hear that there is just bubbles popping at the surface. And the operation of this thing, other than that, is silent. That is a real step forward in Venturi design, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, this is going to be difficult to see on this small Venturi. So I think what I'll do, I'll go up the pond and I shall show you what I mean about the holes in the middle of it uh, with a, a bigger Venturi. I've got some two inch ones for the pond. Okay, so this is one of the big Venturis that Gideon sent me to test out on the pond. It's basically the same design as the smaller one, but it's much, much bigger. So you've basically got your air intake, which goes in here. Uh, let's have a look from the yeah, there you go, yes. Oh, difficult to see, but the, the air intake basically goes down here, a right angle, then sends it into this, uh, into the main body of this structure in here. Oh man, it's difficult to explain, but you can, you can see exactly how it works when you're actually looking at it in real life, as it were. And then we've got a series of tapered holes all the way around here to let the water through. But halfway through those holes, there's little holes in each one. And that's where the air comes in. And that's where the air gets mixed with the water that's blasting down these holes. So you get your increase in pressure here, which causes the air to be sucked in through the little holes in each one of these. And then shot out the other end at high speed with a real good mix of oxygen and water. And as far as I know, I'm not giving any trade secrets away there because I think this particular idea is patented. At least I hope it is. The links to Gideon's channel on YouTube is in the video description. Please follow that link. Check out the videos because as I mentioned before, they're way better than my videos. And you'll see everything from little Venturis like this up to great big ones on swimming pools and they're unbelievably impressive. Next video, I'll do an update on the pond Venturis that Gideon sent me 
and they are doing a cracking job. Um, we've kind of been working together, I've been giving him feedback based on the things that he's been sending me and he's been tweaking them and I think he's got it right now. Uh, you know, I've literally just been offering suggestions. When I say we've been working together, <laughs> I've done practically nothing. I've just attached these Venturis to my pond and then given Gideon feedback. He has done all the work. He's the one with all the gear and all the knowledge. So please check him out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.